Hi. Today I want to bring you a little reading from Isaiah chapter 58. And in it, God talks about uh, the kind of fasting he really desires. Not that there's anything wrong with the, the fasting and prayer, the fasting that goes with uh, um, uh, putting aside the physical needs of your body for a time, and, and the prayer that, that seeks that solitude with God. But, but um, throughout the scriptures, uh, God echoes the sentiment we're going to hear here in Isaiah, uh, about the uh, the spiritual growth, the end game, the fruit that is uh, the thing that God desires is not just that sense of, oh, I'm close to God. Uh, listen, uh, first he talks about the fasting that's not doing it. He says, on the day of your fasting, you do as you please. You exploit all your workers. Your fasting ends in quarreling and strife and in striking each other with wicked fists. You cannot fast as you do today and expect your voice to be heard on high. Is this the kind of fast I have chosen? Only a day for a man to humble himself? Is it only bowing one's head like a reed and for lying on sackcloth and ashes? Is that what you call a fast? A day acceptable to the Lord? That's very interesting that he says, Is this the fast I have chosen? Only a day to be humble. Only a day for bowing one's head like a reed. There's nothing wrong with that, but that that's that only part that's really... God says, listen, when you narrow your fasting down to only a time of humility, a time of bowing, a time of repentance, that is not what he's after. Listen to the next part. This is where he tells you what he is after. Isaiah 58, beginning at verse 6. Is this not the kind of fasting I have chosen? To loose the chains of injustice and to untie the cords of the yoke, to set the oppressed free and break every yoke. Is it not to share your food with the hungry and to provide the poor wanderer with shelter? When you see the naked to clothe him and not to turn away from your own flesh and blood? Then your light will break forth like the dawn and your healing will quickly appear. Then your righteousness will go before you, and the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard. Then you will call, and the Lord will answer. He will hear your cry for help, and he will say, Here am I. That is just great. It's, it's, a, it's a theme throughout the Old and New Testament, that, uh, that the thing that God is calling us to is not just a sense of, of spirituality, some sort of inner thing that goes on. Certainly that's part of it, but there's an outward thing that goes on too. When you, uh, when you become a Christian and you're following Christ and learning from the Word, the Scriptures, and the Word of God incarnate, Jesus Christ, it changes your life. You act in ways that you would not act before. You think in ways you wouldn't think before. You see people in different ways than you would have before. And when you uh, think of following God, you think of loosing the chains of injustice, this says, and untying the cords of the oppressed, and sharing your food with the hungry, and providing the, the poor wanderer with shelter, and clothing the naked. And God says when you do that, that's when your light really shines. That's when your light really shines. And he even ties that into his hearing us. I know he always hears us, but he wants to, he wants to act uh, in our life. Um, but part of his acting in our life is he's not going to reinforce. Uh, he's like, a, he's like a, the best parent in the world. He's not going to reinforce the bad behavior of us having a fasting that, end, that doesn't change our lives. He's going he's gonna to listen and hear as we approach him. Uh, as he has called us to be, the, the people who, who reach out to the poor and the oppressed and the needy. Um, and it's, it's a huge thing. It's, it's, um, it's, it's, we have to be careful not to move into works righteousness. The Bible's clear. We've been saved by grace through faith, not by works. Uh, the, uh, God so loved the world that whoever believes in, that he sent his only son, that whoever believes in him would not perish but have everlasting life. Uh, so, so our acceptability to God comes through His mercy and only through His mercy. But when we start uh, uh, wanting to to follow Him and walk with Him, we can't be under the delusion that uh, the fasting and prayer that God calls us to, the repentance that God calls us to, is only a bowing of one's head and only a uh, 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 being humble. But it is the the changed way of looking at life 
that, that serves other people, fights oppression, and, and lifts up the poor and the needy. Have a great day.